Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're tackling a tricky networking issue that many Yocto users encounter. Our viewer asks, why is the ifconfig output not clean after running ifdown-a? Let's break down the situation. Our viewer has created a Yocto image with both loopback and ethernet interfaces. When using static IP configuration, the ifdown command works as expected. However, when switching to DHCP, the fconfig output remains cluttered after bringing the interface down. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you work through to that resolution. Let's get started. Let's begin by understanding the issue you're facing with the IF down command in your Yocto image. You have configured your ETH0 interface to use DHCP, but after running IF down A, the IF config command still shows the ETH0 interface as active. First, let's look at your DHCP configuration in the slash date slash network int interfaces file. You have set up eat arrow to use DHCP, which is correct. However, the if down command may not be fully deactivating the interface due to the presence of the resolve conf package. The resolve conf package adds a script that runs during the if down process. This script may not be properly handling the interface down command for DHCP, which could be why ef 0 remains active. You can check the script located at slash etc slash network if down dot dh resolve conf. To troubleshoot this, you can manually run the if down command with verbose output to see if there are any errors. Additionally, Consider modifying the resolve comp script to ensure it properly handles the DHCP interface down process. If the issue persists, you might want to explore alternative methods for managing your network interfaces or consider using a different network management tool that better suits your needs. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. The issue with ifconfig not cleaning up after if down a can be resolved by adding a specific line to a configuration file. This line helps to properly remove parameters created by UDHCPC. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.